in Jamaica, murders have passed the 1,000 mark with less than two months ago before the end of 2015. Despite the concerns from citizens, Security Minister Peter Bunting and the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, is assuring citizens not to panic. More from Candice Ming. Fighting crime has never been an easy job in Jamaica, and now police officers are faced with the stark reality of a rampant surge in violence. The latest crime statistics from the Jamaica Constabulary Force indicate that at least one person is murdered in Jamaica every seven hours. As at Monday, the number of homicides stood at 1,116. That's 209 more murders when compared to the similar period in 2014. Hanover, Westmoreland and St. James are among divisions that have recorded an increase in murders. The western parishes have become hotbeds for the illegal lotto scam. Security Minister Peter Bunting says the police have been targeting those areas. However, Bunting says dismantling scammers' operation isn't that easy. Unlike Kingston and St. Andrew, where the hotspots tend to be concentrated in, in very limited geographic areas, in, in specific communities. What you find in the West is that the criminal activities and the murders are taking place in a much more dispersed manner. Um, so you go into sparsely populated um, rural communities Scammers go there particularly because there is not a heavy police presence in, the, in those areas. So anywhere literally that they have phone signal, um, they can go and conduct their criminal operations from. And they tend to want to stay out of sight and out of view. So unlike the traditional gang, yes, gang and gang type mm -hmm. of warfare mm -hmm. or extortion which was See. focused in a very concentrated commercial yeah, district. The, the scamming is, is operates in, in, a, in a quite distinct way. The security minister was speaking recently in an interview with Ian Boyne on the country's state-owned television, GIS TV. He adds that the ministry is working on some technical solutions that will provide the intelligence needed to disrupt a lot of scamming. Mr. Bunting says despite the challenges, there have been notable successes. He pointed to the various crime legislations including the anti-lottery scam and anti-gang legislations which have been used to apprehend criminals. We have the anti-lottery scam legislation and that has again hundreds of, of persons, probably over a thousand persons now have been arrested and scores convicted already have passed through the system and been convicted under that piece of legislation. Uh, we have uh, amended the the proceeds of crime act, the poker. Mm -hmm. um, we have strengthened it. We have put in limits on cash transactions, for example. So we are able to come at organized crime, not just from getting the direct evidence of their criminal activities, but we're now able to go after their efforts to launder the money and their efforts to conceal the, the assets that they've purchased. And we have actually detained billions of dollars um, in assets you and in cash, yes. Um, working with the FID, MOCA and FID. of 30% to 49% this year. And as the Christmas season approaches, ACP Powell said citizens can expect to see increased police presence on the streets. Candy Sming for Seen Caribbean News.